Okay, so I'm heading back into the ghost town in anticipation of more adventures there. And I'm always freaked out by that wall there. There's always something just waiting to get me. But anyway. So let's see, what parts of this town have I not explored yet? There's this building here. Um, I haven't cleared this entire building here because I'm lazy, but I should. Oh, I haven't descended all the way down into the vaults. That's something I've been meaning to do, but haven't gotten to yet. Um, this whole alley here is full of darkness and horror. And I have no stomach for it. So I flee. Okay, that's right. Um, I can always go into this building and cross over into the vaults that way, bypassing the alley. So I think I'll do that right quick. So, anyway, here we go. Down into the vaults. Spooky. Oh, yeah, I need a redstone. Dang it. Ugh. I'm gonna circumvent that. Whoa! Okay, so there was clearly a creeper right there already. And there's clearly another one over there coming after me. But what I want to do is lay down as many torches as I can so if there's spawners in here... I don't have to worry about them. Pick up these extra arrows, as I may yet need them, as I begin my descent into the darkness. Wow, there's like a million things down there. So here's what we're going to do real quick. We're just going to block this up. And directly below my existence skylights, well, that's not one of them, like this one. Ooh, what's that? That appears to be gold blocks down there. That's interesting. So we'll just go ahead and light this up like so. Oh. Whoa! Whoa, that's bad. That is bad. This is not what I intended. This is not what I intended. Everything about this is bad. Okay, okay, this is... Oh. Somehow, I managed to not have a creeper blow all the chests up. Oh, okay, that was bad. I think I, I think I said that. I apologize for repeating myself so many times. But I wanted to be emphatic about my read on the situation. That it was bad, specifically. Oh, now I have to walk down this path. This path is the worst, because if I don't move quickly enough, spiders come up over this wall. Spiders! The most horrible of dirts, because they're spidery. Spidery. I just like them. Check that out. Nearly silent space bar. Apparently these old keyboards uh, have these springs in them, and if you don't put them in right, they're all clickery and backed up. And... But anyway, practically silent now. Okay, so we gotta load up on all sorts of materials before we go back in there. Not really any of these, though. None of those are really the materials that I need. Um, let's see. Something in here? Yeah, iron sword. That'll be good. Bow. Also nice. Arrows. Always a plus. Chest plate, helmet, boots. So, here we are. And not much else in here of use. And up and over. I'm not really sure the best way to... Oh, dang it, stupid light and glitch areas. Of course, the sun's beginning to set, but I really want to get a hold of them items because they are far too good to just leave down there to chance. Was that... Okay, so... Let's see, if I just fall right down here again, can I pick up... I think the creepers killed most of what was down here, so I could probably safely just run back up with the things I've... Okay. Well, that was a surprisingly successful venture. Of course, I don't have half the blocks I was missing. So let's see if I can get the other rest of them now that I've freed that up. Or did the creeper destroy them? Which is probably more likely. Oh, hey, that's neat. There's a, uh... What do you call it? Block box. Wool box. 
Gray wool. Boom. What's in here? Obsidian. Well, that's nice, but it's not what I'm looking for. Glowstone. That could be useful in lighting up all this. I'm kind of surprised there's not like a million monsters down here, but I guess that the uh, creeper made short work of them when he blew up. So, I heard a creeper fall. Uh, literally just now, heard a creeper fall! Heard a creeper fall! Okay. Okay, okay. Nothing, nothing is bad. Everything is good. Everything is okay. I'm not reassuring myself, I'm reassuring you at home, because I know you were scared when you heard that noise. But, you know what? We don't have to worry. Everything is fine. Okay. So, I think that I've gotten all I need to out of here for the time being. Because the sun's about to set soon. And, you know, so let's see. We got some nether rock. We got some soul sand. We got a bunch of coal. Okay, we're good. We're leaving. We are just going to take our winnings. Oh, wait, what's in here? More iron. We don't need that right now. Okay, so city vaults. Getting out of here. Any creatures in here? Did I somehow reveal a... Uh, is that my chest or... Well, whatever. Now I got some torches, too. That's good. Because I might need them yet. You know what else I need? I need a sign to claim my wool when I get back to the Victory Monument. And I'll need a cart to get back to the Victory Monument. But on the whole, this was a very successful vault run. A surprisingly successful vault run. Which I think is in almost entirely due to the skeleton shooting that creeper right there. So, thank you, Mr. Skeleton, for doing your civic duty. Um, as the... Whoa, don't want to go. Well, I guess I'm going down there regardless. Why can't I get out of this? Did Vet just somehow... Ugh. For some reason, those uh, fountains there seem to just capture me. And I don't know if he put soul sand underneath them or something to make it harder to jump out of them, but I definitely am inconvenienced every time I try. So there we go. Goodbye, creepy area full of monsters. Goodbye. And hello, pretty area full of other adventure and excitement. And victory and monuments to my victory. So I got my gray wool, got my sign. So I can just count it. Um, I noticed there were a lot of, um, gold and iron blocks in there as well, so that's good to know that I've got a supply of iron and gold whenever I need it, which will be good for making watches and, uh, compasses and all that. I haven't found the compass that necessary out here, because I always can see where I am, but I figure once I go down there in the undersky, I'm gonna want to know, uh, my way around, and I also want to be able to craft the- No! You don't get to leave. Thank you, Cart. So let's see what we got here. This is gray wool, not light gray wool or dark gray wool, just gray wool. And we found that in the city vault of the ghost town. Done. Lit it up. Light it up. Oh, I forgot to light these. That was silly of me. I didn't light these either. Oh, because I was racing the clock and I got preoccupied. But anyway... So, that was another successful adventure in a very exciting area, the ghost town, and the sun is almost, looks like it's setting or something, trick of the eye, I guess. No, it is setting. I, clearly, my eyes are very easily tricked by nearly anything. Um, anyway, so that was yet another adventure brought to you on Super Hostile Infernal Sky 2. By me, Joe Hills, from Nashville, Tennessee. And, as you know, I can only sleep at night. My nemesis, the sun. That's right, son. You can't escape me.